Hey everyone, PJ here. Today, I have a story that's going to make you facepalm so hard it's going to crack your skull. So, I was scrolling through Facebook last night and saw a post by the Sesame Street community. It was a video about the twiddle bugs. And I went to the comments and saw this one woman was spamming pictures of mutilated animals, which I can't show here because they're extremely graphic. Now, even though I'm all for blurting her name out, I don't want to give this six-piece chicken McNobody any publicity, so I'm just going to call her Dick Breath. So Dick Breath saw a video about the twiddle bugs. Somehow, that video triggered her into going on a massive vegan frenzy and posting a bunch of mutilated animals along with messages about going vegan. And there was absolutely nothing about the video in question that related to the consumption of meat products. So this was completely unprovoked. And when I call her out on it, suddenly I'm the bad guy because I eat meat. So she posted this and I commented, why are you showing that here of all places? And Dick Breath replied, what is your justification for paying others to rape animals into existence, mutilate, confine, torture, and murder them for your sensory pleasure? Our grandchildren will ask us one day, where were you during the Holocaust and animals? What did you do against these horrifying crimes? We won't be able to offer the same excuse for the second time that we didn't know. Dr. Helmut Kaplan, an Australian writer and philosopher, along with a picture of mutilated pigs. So I replied, all you're doing is making your cause look bad. Please do not show pictures of mutilated animals on fucking Sesame Street of all places. There are children on this site. And she replies with, don't hide behind children. Me holding you accountable for abusing animals is not making my cause look bad. And I replied, I'm not defending animal abuse, so don't hold me accountable for something I didn't do. There are other ways to get your message across aside from spamming gore images on Sesame Street of all places. And she goes on a massive tirade where she compares the meat industry to the Holocaust. After this, I DM the Sesame Street community page, told them what she was doing, and asked if they could block her account. As of me writing this, they haven't yet responded. I really don't understand the thought process of these people. Yes, it's true that some slaughterhouses treat their animals poorly, but showing pictures of mutilated animals to toddlers is not going to help your cause. All you're doing is traumatizing a bunch of preschoolers. And it's people like this that give vegans a bad name. And that's my thoughts on the situation. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what your opinion is. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go get ice cream. Slow me down, cause I feel alive now